Remind me your name again. Stella. No, Cassandra. Cassandra. Stella doesn't exist when you're here. Be in the black room in five minutes. The client's name is Frankie. Little Frankie's back again? What, what am I supposed to do? Play with him. I'll tell you what he wants. Just follow his lead. Bella, it's not busy. Why are you going to send the new girl in? Send one of us in and she can come in and train for a few minutes. Are you telling me how to do my job? Cassandra, come to the office to get your props. Fucking bitch. What are you looking at? Again? No, Mom. Mom, no. What did I tell you the last time I caught you doing this, huh? I wasn't doing anything, Mom, I swear. I saw you. It, it, it was just itching a little and I had to scratch it, Mom. Don't call me Mama. I don't want to be the mom of a little faggot. Mama, no, don't say that. You disgust me. You make me sick. Playing with your little cock all the time and sticking fingers up your ass. I'm sorry, Mama. I won't do it again. Please don't hurt me. It was only one finger. <laughs> Other kids do it too and their mamas don't hit them. I don't give a fuck about what other kids do. Man the fuck up and stop crying. No. Look at me when I talk to you. No, no, you're a bad mama. You're a monster. Come here. I hate you. I hate you. You made Papa leave. What did you say to me? Nothing, mama. I didn't say anything. Please don't lock me in the basement. I will. I will lock you in that dark, dark basement. And you know what's gonna happen to you? All the rats that live down there, they're gonna swallow you alive. That's what's gonna happen. Edi Suda. Edi Suda Francisca. On your knees, little Frankie. Then why do you do and say things that hurt me? Because you do that to me too. That's not true, little Frankie. God made me your mama, which means I only do what's good for you. Joshua from next door, he heard you yelling at me. And he told all the kids in school, and they're making fun of me now. And. And, and, and they don't they don't play with me anymore. Oh. How is that for my own good? Mama is sorry, little Frankie. Mama is so sorry. Tell me how much you love your mama. All the way to the moon and back. I'll be the best boy in the whole wide world. You promise to stop acting like a dirty little slut? Yes, my mom. I'm not, I'm not what you said. I'm a big boy. You're the man of the house now, Frankie. Now that your papa left, you have to take care and protect and love your mama. Yes, baby? Yeah, I'll protect you, mama. Yes. Show me how much you love your mama. That's a good boy right there. It's a big boy. If you're a good boy and you behave yourself, Mama is gonna you, let little Frankie do something very, very special for her. Mama will let you 
stick your little cock in her dripping wet pussy. Isn't that what Frankie wants? What? Isn't that what Frankie wants? Tell Mama. Uh, oh, uh, yes, Mom. Uh, oh, oh my God, shit. Oh, no. No, oh, oh. Sorry. I just, I just couldn't hold it anymore. It's uh it, it's never happened that fast for me before. I swear. It's just it's just been a while for me, you know. Oh gosh. Uh, um I am beyond embarrassed. I'll, I'll reimburse you for the shoes. I, I'm just uh, I I don't know what to say. You notice how the new girl reacted? Sure. It was very obvious. Good. Tell me what her reaction informed you of. Think, Achilles. Achilles, if you're ever going to take over the business, you need to start thinking for yourself. You must understand human nature. I, you're right, Mom. I'm, I'm getting there. I just need a little more training. Knowing what's going on with each and every one of these people will help you maintain control over them. So, you paid for a full hour and we have like um, 55 minutes left. Um, do you want to do something else? Oh, oh no, no, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Uh... I'm gonna go so you can relax. Oh, okay. Just need another minute or two to finish getting dressed. Oh, no, I'm good. No rush. I mean, if you want to do something else. Oh, no, no. I'm okay. Thanks. Good job speaking Russian, by the way. <laughs> I didn't think you would remember all the words. <laughs> um, spasiba. <laughs> uh, and the words that you taught me, I got right here. <laughs> you, uh, you could keep the rest of the cigarettes if you want. No, no. If I do, I'm, I'm going to smoke the whole pack by tonight. Um, how come you didn't um, ask for a safe word? I didn't think I needed one with you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'd love to uh, see you again, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'll be here if you want to call and make an appointment. Yeah. Thank you very much. Is this reimbursement for the shoes or? Oh, right. Yes. I mean, I mean, I mean more. Here is another 60. Um, these were more like 80 bucks plus tax. They were new, but um, if that's all you can afford. No, no, no. Here's another 100. Money's not a problem. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That must be nice. <laughs> well, my mom, she, she left me the house and I sold it not too long ago. You know, too many memories. She's dead? I'm very sorry for your loss. Don't be. It was a relief. Do you work? Of course. Yeah, I work for the INS, uh, Immigration. No way! Mm -hmm. I'm about to apply for my green card. Oh, that's awesome. Good mm. for you. Thank you. Wait, you're married? Oh, I, for I forgot. No personal question, sorry. Um, it's okay. I'm divorced. In the process of getting a divorce. Uh, the guy is, um, whatever, doesn't matter. Yes, I'll walk you out. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's somehow okay for children to hate their parents. 
Well, one of the first things we're taught is to honor our father and mother. Right. But what about the parents honoring their children? Where's this coming from? It doesn't matter. Just answer me. Why don't we have a commandment that says the parents should honor their children? How come God Almighty didn't think of that? There's no need for one. Parents will always love, protect, and provide for their children to the best of their abilities. Except they don't. This is not the case for many, many children. I beg to differ. Do you now? Then how do you explain the fact that this world is filled with people who are completely fucked up? I mean, this is why you have a job. Everybody makes mistakes. Being a parent is the most difficult job in the world. Stella, nobody's perfect, which is why forgiveness is so important. But forgiveness doesn't change the fact that a child's life can be ruined because of the way their parents raised him or her. Am I supposed to Am I supposed to believe that I have to forgive the people who hurt me? And if I don't, I should feel guilty and suffer because of it? Which is why it's so important to learn to forgive ourselves before we can forgive anyone else. This is all such bullshit. <laughs> Forgiveness doesn't cut it for me. What else you got? Thank you. 